Okay, uh, we talk about natural and whole numbers, all right? Natural and whole numbers. Now we have two numbers at the same time, natural and whole numbers. We are going to talk one in one in turn, and we are going to see uh, how they, they they relate and how they differ. So, please. Uh, I want a straight line here. Very straight line, you know, like that. So this is going to be a straight line like this. Yeah, say like this. Okay. <clears throat> so let us let us have two sides and uh, put here. We put here natural numbers, and we put here whole numbers right, so what are natural numbers okay what are natural numbers well natural numbers sometimes are called the counting numbers sometimes are called counting numbers all right and if we know what are counting numbers we know what what it means by counting okay counting uh, means counting so when we say counting we count objects we count things we count books we count pens we count yeah, we can count a lot of things so counting numbers counting numbers counting normally starts uh, counting starts starts at one so this is where we start counting so we can say one can say two three four five etc so these natural numbers are also known as counting numbers, so that gives us an easy way to go, right? So counting numbers start at 1. So we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, etc. So these are counting numbers. They have a starting point. They start, start at, right? They start at 1, and they have a difference of 1. So from 1 to 2, we have to add 1, 2 to 3, we add 1, etc, etc. So they start at 1, they never end, they just continue, they go that way. So <clears throat> natural numbers or counting numbers are these numbers which starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on and on. Simply like that, these are natural, natural numbers. Now, we can represent the natural numbers, okay? We can represent these natural numbers on a number line, right? We can represent them on a number line. Represent natural numbers on a number line. Well, now we are familiar with number line, and uh, <clears throat> we know that it is a, a horizontal line which is calculated. So this is a number line. It is like this. So this arrow shows that it continues. Now, what we have to be in our mind that is, since counting number starts from one or starts at one. This is not an R, so this here is a starting point, right? So it starts here and it goes endless. So it starts here and where it starts is 1. It starts at 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, Seven, eight, nine, etc. It goes no end. It goes endless. So this is how we can we can represent natural numbers on a number line. Mind you, this is the starting point. They start at one, 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 one. So that is very important to know. Counting numbers. I mean, natural numbers are also called the counting numbers, and count is starting from one. So one, two, three, four, five, etc. How to represent them, them on a number line is just like this. Things are not very much harder. Very simple if you follow. Now let us move to whole numbers. Okay, let's uh, give them a different color. Yeah, 
colors are very uh yeah it has give it a different color so what are whole numbers okay whole numbers are very close okay whole numbers are very close are very close to natural numbers they are very close to natural numbers what does it mean it means that a uh, whole number is a big set a natural number is a small set which can be found in uh, this big set what does it mean it means that um whole number contains all natural numbers okay so whole number contains all natural number uh, contains all natural number all natural numbers and then the uh, whole number starts starts at zero they start at zero so this is the different they start at zero and then they contain all natural numbers see so the difference here is only zero okay zero they start at zero and in counting we cannot start in zero we cannot say zero one we don't have zero we have one two three but the whole numbers now have they include zero they include zero so that's why we say that all numbers are very close to natural numbers because they contain all natural numbers and they start uh, start at zero they start at zero and they move endlessly so see that um so if 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 we have to write whole numbers right they will start from zero they'll go to one two three so after zero just repeat the natural numbers four five etc so you see here zero is the starting point in natural in whole numbers um whole numbers are are denoted by w while natural numbers are denoted by n so this is the symbol which represents natural number while this is the symbol which re represents whole number it's very important to know that it's very very important now let us see how we can well, we can represent uh, whole numbers on a number line. So, whole numbers on a number line. I know you 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 can now guess how what is going to to be. We are going to start from zero, and the things will just look like the way they are looking in natural number. So. This is our starting point. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. It goes endlessly, endless. Now you see, this is where it starts. It does not go to this negative. I mean, to this opposite direction neither do this go it starts from one natural it starts from zero whole number so you should understand that you should understand that so simply these are very concrete definitions of natural numbers and whole numbers you got to understand them very clearly natural numbers and the and the, and the whole numbers their difference is this whole numbers have zero is starting while natural number has one is starting yeah uh, prepare yourself for some questions okay now here are exercise yeah these are examples they are written as examples but some of them will be your exercise our job is to identify natural numbers here and identify whole numbers here 
we know we know uh, what the are natural numbers and we also know what their polynomial was. So 11 over 8, 11 over 8. Now let me draw a line here and I'm going to do two of them here and I'll do also two of them on the other side. So 11 over 8, this I'll leave it for you, but how about 8 over 8? 8 over 8. Yeah? 8 over 8 gives us 1. 8 over 8 equals to 1. So is 1 a natural number? Yes. So 11, 8 over 8 is a natural number. Um, I will move to which one maybe this one with negative here. Negative 3 over 1. What is negative 3 over 1? This is negative 3. So is negative 3 a natural number? Negative 3? No. We said that negative, I mean, natural number starts from 1. We didn't see any negative. So negative 3 is not a natural number. Okay. So this is it. Uh, Two examples are enough and you are going to do the rest let me cycle those I did I did this and I also did this one here so the rest are yours okay let us come to the other side of 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 uh, whole numbers mm -hmm. I will move to this 11 over 2. 11 over 2. This is the same as 5.5. Is this a whole number? Whole number starts from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and, and on. So 5.5 .5, is not a whole number. So it is not a whole number, okay? It is not a whole number. Um, let us look at at negative three. We look at this, for example. We look at this. Negative three over negative one. This is equal to three, and this is a whole number. Yes. 3 is a whole number. So please do the rest of them and finish everything. Thank you for watching and please be in touch. Be in touch and let us meet in the next video.